what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah you guys are definitely going to be buckled up for this we got a huge update to get into we got clip Elise Stefanik, you know, potential VP candidate for Donald Trump, guys, absolutely destroying and exposing the Biden administration and also the FBI director, uh, Chris Ray for wrongdoings and spying on Donald Trump, guys. This could potentially lead to, you know, FBI director behind bars, guys, and a big lawsuit incoming from the Trump legal team. Uh, I'm not going to do too much talking on the front end. I'm going to wait to the end, guys, and, you know, to see what's going on. So we get straight to the clip. I'll get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So definitely stick around to the end so you guys get my thoughts on the back end. And also, YouTube pushes this video out definitely stick around until the end you guys but yeah, let's get straight into the update guys i gotta see what's going on make sure you guys hit that like button for even get into it and also hit that subscribe button but let's get straight into it y'all the wonderful elise stefanik uh of new york is grilling uh fbi director christopher ray and he just squirms lies mostly through obfuscation or omission but watch him this is beautiful because I like watching him sweat. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. Director Ray, have you read Robert Hur's special counsel report? I have reviewed it. Just to catch you up, the Robert Hur special counsel report goes into Joe Biden. Did he also take documents uh, like Trump, illegally like Trump? Yes, he did, was the confirmation of the report, but he's so mentally impaired, they said, that it's no good to go after him. So she's just asking him if he, if uh, Ray is familiar with that report and watch him just bounce all around it. Do you believe Joe Biden mishandled classified information? I'm, I'm not gonna discuss the report. That's the special counsel's report and I've referred it. In your him. opinion as director of the FBI, do you believe he mishandled classified information? Again, I'm just gonna refer to the report and the special counsel can speak for himself on his report. This is a, this is a common, way that Christopher Ray avoids questions by saying, I'm just going to let the report speak for itself. She's specifically asking for his opinion. Are you aware, and this is breaking news right now, are you aware that there's an audio recording of Joe Biden saying to his ghostwriter in February of 2016, quote, I just found all the classified stuff downstairs, end quote. So that's Biden admitting that he has classified stuff downstairs and now there's a recording. Christopher Ray is not going to give in on any of this stuff because he's working for Biden. Christopher Ray would have turned on Trump by now. But for Biden, he's going to make a special uh, pass for his boy. Are you aware of that audio recording? I, again, I would just respectfully refer you to the special. No, I'm asking itself. you, are you aware as director of the FBI? You're either aware or you're not. I'm aware. Am I aware of what now? Whether the audio exists of Joe Biden saying in February 2017, quote, I just found all the classified stuff downstairs, end quote, to his ghostwriter. Again, I'm, I'm just going to refer to the special counsel and his testimony and his report. It sounds like you might be aware of it then. And yes, he is aware of it. That's in 2017. Biden is no longer covered by being vice president. That is, he's just a schmo hiding doc illegal presidential documents. He's not even president. He was vice president in his basement on tape. And this guy is lying. Chris Ray knows about it and won't answer the question because he's lying in front of this very committee in an open session your predecessor jim comey testified that he did not follow the proper protocol regarding the notifi notification of congress of the opening of the crossfire hurricane that will be the counterintelligence investigation into president trump in 2016. to address this illegal abuse of power by the fbi this committee included direction to the fbi in the iaa requiring notification to congressional leadership of any counter intel investigation into a federal candidate for office. Is there any counterintelligence investigation into either Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I'm just gonna play this again, because this is the longest pause he ever takes. Fiddles, fidgets. This is not what pe how people act when they're telling the truth. I would just say I'll refer you to the special counsel has. It's not a question about the special counsel. Right. That's a requirement in the IAA of the FBI. Is there a counterintelligence investigation into either Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Uh, there's no investigation that I could confirm here. No. Everything is lizard like. It's a yes or no. Is there uh, an investigation or not? He goes, there's none that I can confirm here. Well, that's not exactly a no. He's lying. 
Is there, a, is there a counterintelligence investigation? Again, I'm not confirming any investigation into either candidate. Are you aware that you're required by the IAA to notify Congress of any counterintelligence and will, investigation? And we, will, and we will comply with the law. Have you already complied with the law? Has there been a notification? I believe we have been in compliance with the law. He will not answer if there's been of a notification, if he has told Congress or anybody. Instead, he goes, we've complied with the law, implying I, somehow he is uh, interpreting some kind of a law where he doesn't have to report that he spied, that the FBI was used to spy on Trump family members, spy on opponents of Biden, that they were used to scrub documents, used to deny hearing tapes about Biden admitting that he, that he had illegal do classified documents. See how this answer works? Christopher Ray just gave away everything in his obfuscation, he will not answer yes or no. We're in compliance with the law. We're in compliance with the law. Doug, did you break the law? I believe I'm in compliance with the law. That's not what I asked, Doug. Did you break the law? We're confident we're in compliance with the law. You believe we ha you have been, or has there been a notification to Congress I, I of any I counterintelligence believe, investigation I, of a federal candidate? I believe we have complied with the law. Not an answer. Has there been a counter-intel assessment conducted on either President Biden or President Trump? Again, uh, there's no assessment that I would confirm here in any way. I believe we have been in compliance with the law. And it's not just frustrating, it's funny. Because I see a liar. When you see how he performs, you know this is a liar. He's not as good at it. He can't straight face do it quite as well as Mayorkas can. But he's, he's getting it down. How about on an immediate family member, and by that I mean spouses or children, of either President Biden or President Trump? Again, I'm not in the business of confirming, especially not in open hearings, assessments or anything like that uh, when it comes to counterintelligence matters. So you will confirm in the classified setting when we ask you this question of whether there's a counterintelligence investigation because you are aware that according to the IAA, you are required by law to notify Congress of any counterintelligence investigation, not just for presidential candidates, but any federal candidate. We, we will comply with the law. And not answer you. So you will answer this in the classified hearing later today? We will comply with the law. And what's your understanding of the law? Uh, there's a whole series of oversight requirements that we have related to counterintelligence matters. Uh, well, well, my understanding is, well, there's a lot of stuff I understand. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to try to go But specifically the notification here. of Congress of a counterintel investigation onto a federal candidate. How do you, what is your understanding of the law? Again, I would want to refer to the lawyers to make sure that I'm appropriately complying with it, but I can tell you we're going to comply with the law, and my understanding is we have been. Oh, yeah. Are you believing that? Let me know in the comments if you believe this guy. Has he been complying with the law publicly, clearly, as Biden says, the most transparent administration ever? Is this being transparent? Is your assessment that you're required to notify Congress of any counter intel investigation into any federal candidate? I would, again, I'm going to defer to the lawyers as to the precision of that. You're the director of the FBI. They report to you. What is your understanding of the requirement in the IAA? We're going to comply with the law, including whatever's in the IAA. All right, give up on this lizard. I'd throw him in jail. This guy needs to be kicked out, impeached, and removed. This is why Trump has to win, because otherwise, this guy, these people will continue for four more years, spying on conservative pro-life Catholics, however many are left now. Uh, there's very few left in the Republican Party, even. They're after us. This FBI guy, this uh, Christopher Ray, is part of the problem. Watching him boldface lie to Elise Stefanik, Still in the running for vice president. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out, also, you guys will go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know. I think we just seen Elise Stefanik, you know, claim her spot as that potential VP candidate for Donald Trump right here. She is absolutely grilling and destroying FBI director Chris Ray, guys. And he cannot withstand the pressure. We seen them right there. She was asking the most basic 
basic level questions, guys, and we could not get a straight answer out of Chris Ray if we needed it to save the world, guys. It seemed like he just had no answers. What we just seen was Chris Ray taking his title as FBI director, you know, a little bit too literal, guys. He was the literal director out there um, with Lisa Stefanik, you know, at the reins of the questions, guys. Chris Ray was just, you know, I'm going to have to direct you to someone else to answer that question. I can't, I can't answer any of your questions. I have to direct, I'm the director. I guess Chris Ray's job scoop only, you know, includes directing guys he is the redirector of questions he is the redirector and the deflector of questions he had no answers right there and that just further proves that these guys are you know so corrupt and they're lying you know they've been investigating donald trump this whole time there's in you know secret investigations coordinated by the biden administration and then the isis cake on top of the investigations guys they're you know doing blatant cover-up jobs for joe biden then you know destroying all evidence of cover-up you know almost doing like you know a, a mind wiping you know everyone's redirect or reprogram to be you know one way and be on the side of joe biden not be on the side of justice anymore and that is not how it should be you know our fbi should be on the side of you know providing justice for the american citizens instead they're you know they're aiding you know corruption for biden administration you know spying on political opponents you know doing whatever this guy joe and his administration says you know to keep them in power uh we need to definitely get rid of this guy chris ray what we just seen is we really need to get rid of this fbi director um chris ray guys if you're leaving here with any message leave here with that one that chris ray has got to go that's exactly why we need you know donald trump in office because he's already said he's going to you know first day day one he's cleaning office he's going to clean house because this thing stinks guys everyone knows at this point um, everyone can see, you know, the blatant corruption, weaponization of the Department of Justice system and, you know, the FBI, you know, the highest level. Uh, we got the director here in on it. You know, he can't answer the most basic level, you know, questions about if he's running investigations on Donald Trump or Joe Biden. We just seen FBI director Chris Ray get caught in the biggest lie, guys, when, you know, Elise Stefanik came forth and started asking the questions about, you know, investigations into, you know, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. That's when we seen the biggest pause, the biggest freeze, because right there he knew that he was caught. In his head, he was trying to figure out how Elise Stefanik knew that there was any type of, you know, investigations into Donald Trump. And he was already thinking, you know, who could have blown the whistle on this one? And that's why he had that big pause. For FBI Director Chris Ray's sake, he better hope he had the answers, you know, in that, you know, confidential meeting or confidential session that they had. Because it seems like Elise Stefanik needed those answers. She was not going to stop until she got to the bottom of it, guys. So hopefully for his sake, he got things cleared up when they were in a more private setting. Guys, definitely hop in the comments section and let me know your thoughts on this one though it seems like the fbi director chris ray may be up to something potential fbi investigation into donald trump you know it's been getting covered up on top of the whole biden cover-up schemes guys definitely hop in the comment section let me know your thoughts also make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many facebook friends as possible guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button it doesn't cost a thing hit that like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one week Go.